Hello, this app is built by seven graduate students from NYU under the guidance of Professor Sambit Sahu towards the completion of our guided studies. This app is basically aimed to help people suffering with Alzheimer's disease to make their life more comfortable. Everybody knows people suffering from Alzheimer's disease will always forget things. It's very difficult for them to keep things in track and it's very difficult uh, it's very difficult for them to remember what they wanted to do so we made a small attempt to show how this app can help people suffering from Alzheimer's disease one important feature about this application is it will help remember or it will help remind people suffering from Alzheimer's disease about any notification that they previously created say suppose there's an hangout event that the, the user is supposed to be participating in but he certainly doesn't know what time it is he simply cannot remember this app is going to send out a notification one minute prior to the event containing the link and the moment the person creates the clicks on the link he'll directly be taken to the hangout notification if you guys have observed i can see a notification here test event hangout with ganapati my friend and the moment i click on it it is going to take me to the hangout call it is automatically placing a hangout call right so this feature is very helpful because because the moment you get a notification you simply click on the notification it will directly place the call for you it is actually trying to eliminate a lot of tedious processes for you to actually remember the hangout event and make a call to it this is one important feature this also works with integrating the app with skype notifications and also mobile call notifications uh, imagine you have a google calendar event saying you have to call person xyz at so and so time the app is going to track keep track of the call at that particular time it is going to send a notification and all the user needs to do is simply click on the notification to automatically place a call so this is one module another interesting module of our phone is presenting the news so a user has a set of preferences and uh, once he tries to manage those preferences the app is actually going to contact a free news api which gives us news and it is going to present the news in form of nice cards you also can see the current weather so these are two interesting modules of our app what what we have is the another module especially the chat bot this is aimed at helping people plan their travel more easily or maybe plan what they eat more easily so basically this chat bot is an amalgamation of a travel bot and a tourist uh, and a food bot basically so let me give you a demo of the food bot here i'll say i want to eat noodles so the app is actually trying to identify sure. what I'm any trying specific to eat. noodles you want to have say no if you want me to look up for any type of noodles i'll say yes so let's say I don't have any specific kind of noodles in mind just for the sake of simplicity I'll say no and once I say no the Perfect. app is going to Here are some restaurants that serve noodles so it's going to give me a bunch of Yelp links and within a few seconds it's going to load up the web view of those links and these are the links which these are the top links that Yelp provides for noodles basically we all so basically speech to text module has been integrated in our app in two different modules. The first one is the speech analysis and the second one is chatbot. First I'll be showing you the speech analysis module. I am happy that IBM Watson does awesome machine learning stuff. Entities IBM Watson. As you can see the speech to text got converted pretty accurately and it gave for the above sentence that the sentiment was positive and he was this awesome machine IBM Watson and stuff and entities as IBM Watson we have integrated uh, the speech to text module in chatbot too I will show you an example I want to have some Chinese food Sure, any specific noodle types you want to have. Say, no, if you want me to look up for any type of noodle types, I'll say, yes. No. Perfect, here are some restaurants that serve Chinese. 
so we've de developed this photo recognition module keeping alzheimer's patients in mind it's very difficult for us to remember people for the second time we meet a lot of faces look familiar to us and we think oh i just met this guy earlier but you simply cannot recollect all the information about this guy so we hopefully think that this app is going to help them a lot so just to make my point just so that we all understand that i'm not on the database currently i'll first verify myself and show you that i'm not in the database and then we can go ahead and see how the actual app works so i'll click on the verify button and i take a photo and i say verify the photo it's trying to find a match and it couldn't find a match it says services could it could not identify the person so which means i'm not already in the database so now imagine the scenario you met me for the first time you know my name and um, you just want to remember me for a little more time so you use the app take a new entry and save in all the details that you want to save about me and you save it in the database which can be later retrieved so, so when you meet a new person you click on the new entry button you take a photo of the new person you click on the tick mark to open the contact card so i just want to save it dummy test today and i basically can save all the information here my phone number email id whatever i want i just click on the tick mark and it saved the contact and it is now trying to upload the image now the image got successfully uploaded and imagine you see me again after two to three years so you my face looks familiar to you but you actually really don't know who i am so you click on the verify button and you wait for the camera to load up you take a photo of the new stranger and you ask the phone to verify who if you actually met that person or not so it's going to take some time and if it actually finds a person it's going to open up the contact card and all the information that you have saved about that person basically this is all about the app so we have the app working as a chatbot it will give you news it will give you information about the weather and also it will help you remember when you miss a, a hangout call or a google calendar event basically so we hope this app helps people suffering from alzheimer's to actually lead a much better way of life and we thank samudra for uh, giving us this idea and letting us work on this app thank you